the 2021 T4 Target Tour. It's a fantastic event, like 10 days down in Tassie. The roads are unbelievable. The customers we bring down are attract day fanatics that love to get out on the roads and, and doing Tiger Tasmania is ticking the box for them. We've done Great Barrier Reef, we've done Tiger High Country, and this is the final one with the leg this year. Paul is a consummate professional. He's, you know, he gives you the right advice and, and doesn't stretch you beyond your means and capabilities. And I think we've got one of the best tour groups around. I've heard about this race since I was a little girl, so I've always wanted to do it. It's a bit on the bucket list. So here we are this year, it's our first time. It's been on our list to do for many, many years. Obviously we couldn't do it last year. And you know, as soon as the borders opened up, looked like we could do, we were straight in. Oh, it's so good to be back in the car and driving and doing this again. And we're lucky that we're here, that we can actually do it. I suppose it's the iconic Targa event in Australia and I've wanted to do it for many, many years. Yeah, it was great. This is the second one now I've done. I did the high country in February. Obviously this is a much longer and a different sort of track, but it was great out of all. Good, really good. A whole bunch of people I've never met before. Besides Paul, who's been driving for ages, some of the Turk in Tasmania. The social side of it all is really great. You know, it's a great bunch of people. You know, we have a great week. And the driving aspect, it's fun. It is it is good fun. I really enjoy it. Overall, they're just fantastic. They're challenging, they're uh, they're exciting, and to have the whole road to yourself is, you know, it's just a unique event. Great week. We did the previous one, 2019, and couldn't wait to come back. It's a pretty unique event to be uh, unleashed on open roads and it's awesome. Yeah, this is a bigger group than we had last time, but again, everyone's got the same interests, so uh, everyone, always something to talk about. We've got a diverse mix of cars this year. Yeah, we've got everything from uh, an AMG GTR to a Subaru BRZ, which is probably the other end of the scheme. But to be honest, once you put them on a country road and start driving them, there's not a lot of difference in performance because, you know, one handles a bit better, one's got more power. We do have limits on speeds, obviously, in the tour, and, and that's kept well under control. But, um, you know, we've mixed it up. We've had different people following me through the tour, and we set a pace that's comfortable for everybody. If you're a, a car guy or car girl, it really is an awesome event because you get to see all different sorts of people in all different sorts of cars. And, for a car enthusiast, it's a, a dream week. Well, I think it's great to drive this uh, classic car on these beautiful roads. It's an opportunity to drive like nowhere else on earth. So we're very excited and looking forward to a beautiful drive. It's very good. Everyone seems to have nicknames that relate to their car or their driving style. So <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. A few minor changes that I've made to the car seems to have gone all right. I think it surprised a few people about how well it does go. And then it sort of became a bit of a joke, you know, about being a quick Uber driver and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I must say, it doesn't matter what sort of car that you have, you know, and I think anyone could participate in this kind of the touring thing with Paul. It's, it's not just a, you know, for anyone that has a muscle car, it's, I think everyone can get involved in that. Being with a bigger group this time compared to high country has been great. Yep. Getting to watch the cars in front of us, their trucks and everything has been great. It's good hooking up uh, with everyone else, seeing how everyone else's day went at the end of the day. We'd often uh, catch up for group dinners and what have you. It's always a bit of a bit of a laugh, a bit of a debrief, have a have a few drinks, nothing too serious. It's been uh, fantastic on the on the social side of things as well. plenty of country scenery to see and the people here are so welcoming. <laughs> we've had some pretty tricky conditions this week but finally we've got some dry weather at Baskerville for the, the final day of the tour I guess. Uh, they get to let the let some steam off and get onto the track without speed restrictions and enjoy the cars and, and tonight we head back to the boat so it's non-stop, it's all go. <laughs> Yeah, that was, yeah. that was 
I'm actually great. surprised that how well everybody gets on, i got to say, because you don't know anyone from a bar of soap. But as you do more events and sort of more things happen during the day or you're having lunch or, you, you know, that you end up having really good chats and you find out what people do on their families. And, and it's, a, it's a real... In fact, I'd be disappointed if we did it again and a lot of the same people didn't roll up. It's a 10 out of 10 event for me. It's been a, a, a bucket list tick. We've got a great group of 10 and it's just absolutely fabulous. You make lifelong friends on these things. We're very thankful that the Tasmanian public give us the chance to use their roads and this Target Tasmania event is probably one of the best in the world. And again, the best event that I've ever done and I love it. So hopefully they'll come back again.